Hi friends, brothers and sisters. I'm Francis and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Our gospel for today is taken from Luke chapter 6 verses 1 to 5 and it says, Jesus was walking through some wheat fields on a Sabbath. His disciples began to pick the heads of wheat, rub them in their hands, and eat the grain. Some Pharisees asked, Why are you doing what our law says you cannot do on the Sabbath? Jesus answered them, Haven't you read what David did when he and his men were hungry? He went into the house of God, took the bread offered to God, ate it, and gave it also to his men. Yet it is against our law for anyone except the priests to eat that bread. And Jesus concluded, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Did you know that Mosaic Law, the one that God gave to Moses in the Old Testament, had a total of 613 laws in addition to the Ten Commandments? Those 613 laws governed how the Israelites of that time should live their daily lives, and it continued up to the time of Jesus. And the Pharisees knew these laws by heart, and uh, they made a show of enforcing these laws to the people. And so they nitpicked to Jesus about the behavior of his disciples, about what is basically having a grain snack on a Sabbath. And in response, Jesus reminded the Pharisees of what David did when his men were hungry. Uh, I, I looked up the reference in the book of Samuel, and uh, it turns out David was looking for food for his men. And so he went to a priest and asked for food. The priest, uh, Ahimelech, said he had no ordinary bread, but offered the sacred bread for that was all he had. So when we say sacred bread, that was the bread uh, offered to God uh, uh, in the temple. Mind you, the sacred bread offered to God was exclusively for the priests and the Levites, and it was not meant for consumption of other people. But Ahimelech the priest got it. He understood. It wasn't about rituals. It wasn't about the laws. It wasn't about the sacred bread. It was about feeding the hungry. David was asking for food. And Ahimelech did not go mosaic law on David and simply offered what he had at hand. Well, uh, think of it this way. Uh, to put that into modern context, if a hungry person approached a priest and, at, and asked for food, the priest could have lovingly offered you know, sacred host, uh, the one that is meant uh, for communion. But if that's the only food he had available at that time, then I suppose a priest would have gladly offered it to somebody who was asking for food. Jesus said, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. And in saying that, he is putting himself above the Sabbath. And whatever rules and laws came with its observance. This tells us something very important about the character of Jesus. Jesus was not a stickler for rules. Brothers and sisters, the Jesus of our lives is not a stickler for rules. I'll say that again. So let not our lives be governed by rules and laws and traditions and practices only. Now, these things are important, but let's not allow our lives to revolve around these things only. Reading and memorizing Bible scriptures is important, but Jesus is Lord of the scriptures. More than highlighting and memorizing scriptures, we should be living by the teachings and inspirations of scriptures. It's not just about going to Mass and spending an hour in Mass. It's about listening to the words, of understanding their meanings, of seeing what these words mean in our daily lives, and living by whatever we receive in the Mass. Let me share with you a story about a brother 
who went to church wearing only t-shirt, shorts, and chinelas. He was blocked at the door by one of the ushers. And uh, he was given a very stern lecture on decorum, proper attire when entering the church. He was told to go home and dress appropriately and come back when he was properly dressed. The brother was absolutely crushed and just went home. And for many years, he did not go to church. That was such a heartbreaking story. And I'm just glad that another brother found a way to bring him back to God, back to church, and brought him into a community, uh, the one where I am in right now. I know that there is a proper way to dress up when going to church, but if only the usher had, had talked to this brother with compassion, with love, with kindness, that brother would not have been lost for many years. We need to be bigger than our rules and traditions because Jesus was bigger than the Sabbath. He was the Lord of the Sabbath. The Pharisees saw men violating the rules of the Sabbath. Jesus saw men who were hungry and were just looking for something to eat. Today, instead of looking at our fellow men and women through the lens of judgment, let's look at them with a spirit of love, charity, mercy, kindness, and compassion. If you have been blessed by this short reflection, please like and share Pathways of Hope to your friends and loved ones. Again, my name is Francis Ortega. Thank you.